And welcome back to India. So India is the big city. <clears throat> Thought maybe I could find work or something in a big city like this, but... Yeah. So what I really want to do is just fucking leave. But Nina won't let me. So we have to explore instead. Now we do have some good item shops here, so we can check those out. And immediately steal from them. What do you have to say? We can get a bronze sword, which is... I think I already have one of those. It's not any better than what I currently have. A broadsword, sword, which I also have one of those. Uh, that was what I had Ray equipped with originally. And it is slightly stronger than what I currently have, but it's also slightly more weight, and it doesn't have the effectiveness against uh, undead. Claymore is extremely strong, but also very, very heavy. And also a mace, which is just six points more damage than my current weapon for two more weight. Uh, so I probably am going to go ahead and equip that to Nina. And I am going to want to buy that Claymore, uh, just not at the moment. Uh, yeah, I do have a bronze sword. Or a broadsword, I should say. I am going to want to buy that other weapon, but I can't afford it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I say this because I need 15 different types of weapons in my inventory in order to get a, uh, in order to get a new master. Now, that's not going to pay be too much of a deal at just yet, but that will play into things quite a bit later. Ooh, mage's robes. Those are significantly better in every way than what I currently have. Uh, yeah. Weight of four, defense of six, versus defense of nine, and weight of three. So that's just better in every way. So let's go ahead and get one of those for Nina. Re-equip all my people here. Uh, the gauntlet. That is really good. Uh, I could also get a bronze shield. Oh, and I actually have a glass domino, so I should probably equip that to Nina. Uh, because it looks like the iron helm is pretty much the same, except a little bit heavier. So, I could get the... You know what, I'll just get both. I'll get a bronze shield for Ryu, actually get him some new equipment and a gauntlet for Nina. Get her a little bit better. I am tempted to get either a ranger cloak or a curious for uh, Ryu, just because it is significantly... Yeah, that would be seven more defense if I got this guy for him. It would drop his speed by three, though, so... Uh, maybe I won't do that just yet. I think there is also another master later on that requires three different kinds of... It sells the Midas Stone. What is the Midas Stone? Increases profits, but decreases your weight by 10. Alright, fair enough. Raises defense for status changes. Okay, so... We've got the Talisman, protection against death-based attacks, and this is kind of like what I already have on Nina. Earthquake attack on all opponents, that's pretty cool. So this guy just sells basically attack items and also the Midas Stone, which I can equip if I want to just be earning more money. Probably not a bad thing to get eventually, not going to worry about it right now. Clearly, because I don't have enough money to do so. <laughs> So let's just go around and talk to some people. Uses Chrism to sign like that. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, so people use Chrism to just do things. Looking for someone. Hmm, I know that who that is. You're playing hide and seek, right? Okay, well then you're it. You have to try and find us. Ready? Alright, well... I guess we'll go and try and find the kids. You're looking for Tipo, right, Rayo? And he's a kid too, right? 
So maybe these kids will know something about him, right? Uh, I mean, I guess that logic's out. So these kids are going to be hiding in a bunch of different spots. I don't want to be found. Now I have to be it. Wah. Cool. There's one. I don't know. I don't believe they're ever going to be inside a house. I want a shot. Interesting. I forgot that this was even a thing. Well, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but that's that's pretty neat. I also don't know if uh, going inside a house resets anything. I don't think it does, but I don't know that for certain, so I'm going to be careful. Let's just make sure that nobody's hiding around corners like they like to do. Little scamps, there's another one. Ah, uh, you got me. I think there's five in total. Haha! -ha. Found ya. Okay. So these guys aren't actually too bad to try and find. It's nowhere near as bad as, like, uh, trying to find all the kids in... Oh, what is that game? Majora's Mask. We got a dog. He's a good boy. He's a sleepy boy. Just like me. All right. This guy's got milk. Oh, that's just Nina. <laughs> Nobody there. Okay. Let's keep checking places out. I bet there's going to be... I feel like there should be someone back here. Really? No? Okay. Fair enough. What about over here, though? Really? Nothing over here? All right. Why do I feel like there may have been someone over here? Oh, maybe not. Okay. There are two more kids somewhere in this place, and I'm gonna find them. No. No, okay. What do you have to say? Looking for someone? Oh, a lot of people come to the cafe, you know, so... So many problems these days. Buenia just doesn't feel safe anymore. What do you have to say, lady? I don't usually get that many kids in the cafe. There's a lot of kids playing downstairs, though. I think these guys mostly just tell me that there's kids downstairs. Not goofing off, okay? I'm patrolling this here sandwich, see? Sure, man. Looking for someone? Depot, right? Never heard of him. Well, you're helpful. Oh, there's another one. How'd you find me? Oh, I guess it was just four. Okay, cool. Found everyone. Now maybe you can help us. We're looking for some friends of ours. Have you seen them? A little while ago, a robber broke into that house over there. And that robber was a kid about your size. What happened to the kid? What happened? Well, he got beat up by the owner of the house and took off. I think maybe he went down the road. Alright, fair enough. That definitely sounds like Depot. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well... Let's uh, let's go in the rest of these houses because we can probably take some stuff from them. Oh, here's an actual item shop, I think. Sorry, I wanted to let the loud car outside go by. Got some more fishing stuff. Uh, ammonia would probably actually be pretty useful at this point. Um, although it's nowhere near as necessary as it was in other games to have reviving items because you're characters will revive with 1 HP uh, if you complete the battle. See, that's how you steal from people, Depot. I got beat up by a robber the other day, I did. But I taught him a lesson or two before he got away. That robber sounded like some little good-for-nothing kid from the country. Yeah, that sounds like Depot. He didn't even actually steal from you very well, either. 
which also sounds like Tifo, so there we go. Well, I think we have explored pretty much all we need to see out of Windia. There's definitely more stuff I want to buy here, but I don't have the money for it yet, so I'm not going to worry about it just yet. And we have another one of these fi uh, little field of flowers over here, so that's pretty neat. And what is this? Oh, we're up at the side of the castle. Alright. Is there anything over here? A treasure chest. Alright. Vodka shot? Okay. Okay, game. What does the vodka shot do? Raises one target's power. Okay, so that is a item to use in battle uh, to increase attack. So that's pretty neat. So what I want to do right now is see if the game will let me go backwards. Because if it doesn't, Ignok Road. Okay. Because if it doesn't, then I'm kind of stuck. This is the entrance to the road. There's a small hut over there. Let's go and see what the owner has to say. Hmm. I think I want to save, actually. Saving sounds like a good idea. Also, I can go through here. So that's pretty cool, too. What's over here? Another field around the castle. There's a whole bunch of barrels. Can't really do anything with those barrels. Doesn't seem to be anything in the corner. There's a dude here. Hey, dude. Durandal. What do you want? Me? Oh, I don't know nothing. Nope. Nothing. Not a thing. Just a little guy in a little town. If you really want, I suppose I can teach you some of the useless tricks I know. You want me to? Sure. It's like you're serious, then. I don't have much to teach, but I'll give it my best shot. Mina? Alright then. From this moment, I, Durandal, will make your make you, Nina, my princess. Is there anyone else who wants to apprentice with me? Nope. Till we meet again. Okay. Cool. So that's the thing. Um I don't actually know what he does. So let's take a look. Oh, that's that's creepy looking. Okay, so I just looked up what Durandal does. Uh, as he said, he's not terribly useful. Um, he doesn't really teach anything super useful. There is a master that requires you to learn a bunch of moves from different people. Uh, so that's really the only reason to learn all of his moves. But Nina also doesn't have anyone on her right now. And... Durandal doesn't seem to really affect your stat changes all that much. Uh, so he's a very, very neutral master. He also only takes three levels to get everything for him. So might as well have him on her until I can get someone better. So if you run around and talk in Windia to people, uh, they will mention that their ancestors used to be able to fly. Uh, as you will probably have noticed, Nina does not have wings. No one has wings anymore. Uh, the Wing Clan, which was what the Windians were, uh, have lost their ability to fly. Which also gives a very good indication that this game takes place a very long time after both the first game and the second game. Because in the second game, they could no longer fly, but they still had wings. In this game, they don't even have their wings anymore. Uh, so this game has definitely taken place much, much later in the timeline. But I've saved, so let's continue down the road. There was also someone mentioning that to use the bridge, we needed the king's permission. Uh, but I'm not sure which bridge he is exactly referring to. I still want to go and see if I can just actually go back to my master. Wouldn't be a good idea to move, not without knowing which way they went. Okay, so Nina won't let me go that way. So I guess I'll actually go and do what she wanted me to do and talk to the people here. Nina won't let me do things unless they're the things that she wants me to do. 
It's like she's a princess or something. Okay, what's going on? Oh, well, I heard a scream. Hey, Granny, another little visitor. Oh my, ho 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 ho. Okay. Clothing? Nothing. Um. Oh boy. Grabbed her right as I went in the door. Don't try anything, my little lizard friend. They won't kill the princess, then they lose everything. No use in resisting, punk. We don't really care about you, anyway. But things will get messy. If you ride it on us, see? Can't chance that. It'd be even messier if we tried to kill you here and tur you turn into a dragon again. So don't worry. We've got it all figured out, see? Enough talk. Say goodnight. Yeah, this is what I meant by uh, not going to be able to go back to see my master for a while. Now we're back in... Now we're in Genmo. Oh, boy. Fall's place. Okay, Fall, they're all yours. I just gotta keep an eye on them, right? Yeah, just keep your eyes on them. And your hands off the bottle, okay? We got better things to do than worry about a couple of kids. Thanks a lot, Fall! Okay, brats. You'll get yours once the contest is over. For now, just stay there and behave yourselves, okay? You guys literally could have just fucking left and never had to do anything about this. Like, I still don't get what their fascination is with me. Clearly, they aren't happy with me, but... I mean, they could have just left, and they never would have had to deal with me again. So... If only we could get out of these ropes. Chew through them? Oh, I don't think so. They're too thick. Uh, not for a dragon. Wow, how'd you do that? Fall is definitely uh, not staying away from the bottle. Bit all the way through. It's amazing, Ryu. Well, now maybe we can get out of here. It looks like they're gone. A guy named Fall's here, but it looks like he's had too much to drink. If required, he might not notice us. We'll be okay as long as we're careful. Let's go. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Super sneaky. Hey, where'd you think you're going? Uh... Nowhere? We're not going anywhere. Nowhere? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, well, we'll be seeing you. Okay. Oh, we made it, Ryu. Oh, I knew we could do it. Okay. Now let's get out of here before he wakes up. Well, we're in a new place, and I think we have now, like, according to the law, abducted the princess, so I'm sure that's going to end well. So I'll, I guess we'll see you guys in the next episode of Breath of Fire as we try and get home. <laughs>